a tiny vlog about the radio oscillator that I'm working on. The schematic is in an earlier video. I will show it in the text box, the link to the video in the text box. The only thing that I wanted to tell is when you want to wire say more or less complicated circuits it's always a very good idea to do that separately. So, for instance, take this switch out, wire it, put it in, and then you have two long wires here going from whatever location to another location. Of course, the wire must be long enough anyway. Uh, the same for potentiometers, etc., etc. And here you see what I'm working on. It's the five pole switch. And you can see that all the wiring is done now in the vise. The knobs are here. Uh, all these switches will switch to a certain part of the pancake coil. That's here. Here are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I have 5 switches here. And uh, by pressing the switch you can connect uh, a certain part of the coil. Of course it's kind of impossible, uh, perhaps when you have uh, three or four hands, to uh, wire such a switch when it is mounted here uh, in the front of the oscillator. So this is a good idea at first. Make a kind of unit. Uh, you can also do that with a rotary switch. No problem with that. And then, <coughs> so here is that switch again. Uh, take it out of the vise. Here is the vise. Take it out. So now you have oh, that was a big sound. Now you have a completely wired switch. That's a very good idea. And now <coughs> you can mount that here into the front of the oscillator circuit or whatever circuit. Could also be an audio amplifier. Uh, no problem with that. And I'm gonna say push it through the hole that I made in the front. I hope I can make that, make that visible. Hope that my camera doesn't drop. This is that switch again. Uh, so push it through the hole. Then push it somewhat in. Of course a little bit. Not too far. And of course it, this is not say a straight position of all the switches. But you have on the other hand here the output of all the switches. Let's say the black uh, backside of the switch unit. It's now in the middle of the screen. And then you can connect all these wires. The green, uh, the red say all these wires to the separate points of the coil that, that you need or whatever. I use this uh, principle many many times also when making audio amplifiers etc etc. Take the components out of the front, wire them and when they are wired it's very easy to make all the contacts to the electronic circuit. That was more or less all to tell. Thanks for watching.